All right, so this is right after I just left off with the last part in part eight. Now this is part nine and we are picking up, like I said, right where we left off. We're still in the same area and we just found out some interesting information. We're going to help out Jack and Joe and we're going to get them out of the city like they want to be in, right? They want to get out the city safe. And that's what I was going to head towards. So this ought to be fun. I saw Sophie and her men near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. We're finally in here. This is where I've been wanting to get into the whole time. It had a lot of stuff in here and I'm grabbing it all. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, what is that? That ain't no proof. You can still take it. Oh, you probably don't want to misplace anything in his room. Oh, this place is a pigsty. What else do we got? <laughs> what? What? <gasps> no way. Here's something. You know what that is, Aiden. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck. That's... That's human skin. Yup. Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm gonna throw up. What? Get the hell out of there. We still ain't Norrin. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Ooh. Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. Oh, let me fight him. Yes, please, please. Let me kill him. Let me kill him. Let me kill him. Yeah. You're gonna find out who... What? Damn, I whooped his ass that easy? What's going on here for fuck's sake? I whooped his ass. He hit me. He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? Of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death, or when he was still alive. You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother. Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to Ader. I've got the proof he's looking for. Oh, Aiden, it's damn. Not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where the tat? Yeah, right. Then where this tattoo come where from? Did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set That's us a up. big chunk too. Ever think of that? Who would do that, and why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. That doesn't matter. That's the only option I have. So doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait. Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes, and we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <sighs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything. No, am I gonna have Stay to take to over? 
time to make some changes around I'm gonna have to take care of every single one of their camps before we can go ahead and make that happen watch guarantee you that's what's gonna happen I'm gonna have to take care of every single one of those camps like I did that bandit camp in the last episode and that's how I'm, we're gonna be able to do that their way if I did it their way <laughs> what the hell knight is here a goat with a knife I don't think so goat you ain't taking me alive you saw that though? I hope Aiden know or uh, Aiden. <laughs> I hope um, Barney knows now. Ah, uh, you mess with me, you get your ass whooped. I whooped his ass. Hit him once, and then I hit him once like this, and then kaka into the wall right here onto the dartboard. Uh oh, I spent all my money. Didn't even realize. We're having a powwow. You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. Okay, never mind. Okay, we, we were just running around for a sec, and Sophie just radioed us and told us to move to, to the bazaar. Okay. We'll do. I guess we're having this mission go on after all. Look, there's that little bastard right there I could defeat. I smell defeat. Oh, that little bastard's tricky. What the? What? Oh, what? MRE rations. Cool. I don't know what I did, though. <laughs> what? What? I and I took a screenshot. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'll meet y'all at the uh bazaar in a sec. After I help this guy. Ooh, got a combat level. Okay. So I'll go to yeah yeah and I'll go upgrade that when I'm yeah yeah. Okay, yeah yeah. Alright, yeah yeah. Oh we have these now. I don't know why it took me a second to realize because I did that, we have those now. Makes traversing a lot more easier. Let's see what we got going on. This is madness. <clears throat> the peacekeepers have more weapons. Men, they will crush us like worms. Not if we take men, out every out home outpost. Advantage. Home field advantage. You're crazy. I forbid it. While I lead the bazaar, no one will attack the peacekeepers. You no longer lead the bazaar. Oh. What? You're no leader, Carl. Never were. We lost people because of you. Crystals. And if he has anything to say about it, killed. I'll beat his ass. Or kill him. Mother. Not slaves serving the peacekeepers. Right. I want to restore peace here. You can help me with this. Or leave. Roger, Humphrey. Arrest them. I'll beat your ass too, Humphrey. They want to betray the bazaar. Roger. You have no power anymore, Carl. You want to be like your mother. You have blood on your hands, Sophie. A lot of blood. Get out of here. Y'all too. Get y'all punk asses out. Unless y'all with right. us. We don't stand a chance in open battle. We gotta take them out one by one. What the? Therefore, we're yep. gonna weaken them I know first. it. Uh-huh. What do you mean? We'll cut off their main source of electricity. Without UV lamps, Ador can't defend his base. They will be driven from the metro tunnels and cut off from the armory. How does all this get me to the central loop? Once Ador is weakened, he will retreat for reinforcements. Then you can make it to the central loop, Aiden. But first, we have to blow up the windmill. And fast. Before Ooh. Aider gets wind of what we're planning. It's different. Barney, gather our people. Be ready. Roger and Humphrey, go to the armory. Provide weapons to anyone capable of fighting. You, Aiden, go to Alberto and Vincenzo. They'll walk you through the plan. Okay. I was just willing to. Community and freedom, Aiden. Together, we will win. That's what it's all about. That's why I gave you all the water tower. Uh, I'm for the. I'm definitely for. Ooh, that weapon. Ooh, remote C4. <laughs> Gang leader blueprint. Revolution. That's what I'm talking about. The <laughs> she straight took Carl's spot. Quest so giver. What's going on here? You help me. You are 
worthless, heartless, selfish. Uh... Everything all right? No. Everything is not all right. Please. It's my boys. They've gone missing. I haven't seen them for hours. Mo is 13, Scotty's 16. Please. Yeah, boys their age do tend to wander off. Right. Uh -uh. Not <clears throat> the boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but... Oh, my birthday's coming up. It'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise. I'd die. You understand? If something happened to them, I'd... Would you offer a reward? Imagine! Oh, that is so bad. No, let me help you. <laughs> Try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. Damn! I just want to help. <laughs> Where should I start to look? Right here. <laughs> Sometimes they play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. <laughs> Over there throwing shade. For my birthday. Over there throwing shade at us. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. It seems like it won't hopefully take too long. Um, shouldn't be too bad. What is up here, huh? Ooh. A safe code. Or a safe. We got a code nearby. By any chance? In there. Journal. Um... Scott earlier had a return, not there. Collect okay, collectibles. So that was the old one. So five times a hundred plus hey, I actually have I'm really about to bust this out right now. I have a whiteboard. You just heard me opening up my markers. I have a whiteboard, a small one. A decent sized one. And ooh, just hit the mic. It's a decent sized whiteboard and I don't really use it too, too much, but I just found a purpose right now. So a hundred by five, that immediately will come out to 500. I could have done that math in my head alone. So let me see 500, that's plus 15. That'd be 515 minus five, 510. Yeah, 510. I thought it was going to be a little more harder than that. <clears throat> I could have done that in my head. I busted out my whiteboard and everything for no reason. 510. <laughs> busted out for no reason. Man, got all excited and everything too. Got to close everything up. Okay, 510. I like that though. That's different because you, if you saw the other... One just told us the safe code. This one here, it just said 101. And this one actually makes you use your brain when it comes to that. So, five, one, zero. There we go. Ooh, tape. Ooh, Carl's journal. Okay. He's mad too because he got overthrown just now. You know he hates that. Ooh. What's going on? I can't get up there, huh? Hmm. Was that all what this was for? No. What's going on with his lamp? Why does it highlight the lamp?
Huh. Um. Now, I don't know if it's glitching again. It's kind of hard to tell. Unless I did all this, and what I don't realize is they are just down there. Not even this high up, and I did all this climbing. For no reason. That could be the case, too. I mean... Hey, I'm, I'm looking for two kids, uh, Scott and Mo. Mo? He's my new best friend, you know. After Buddy, of course. You seen him today? Today? No. But he and Scott started coming to play with me and Buddy a lot lately. Buddy didn't trust him at first, but now all four of us have a great time together. Oh, you know, Buddy? Buddy's my dog. Haven't seen him, have you? Pretty big, thick black fur. Chases balls like a puppy, but he's pretty old, actually. No, but uh, I didn't think pets were allowed at the bazaar anyway. What about Mo and Scott? Any idea where they might have gone? Uh, who knows? But Buddy, Buddy's a stray. He shows up here every day to play with me. I take him home, but my uncle won't let me. Maybe one day. Hey, did you know it's not true that dogs only see in black and white? I have two toy balls, and Buddy always fetches the blue one. It's his favorite. It says interrupt him sharply. Interrupt him kindly. Amazing <laughs> stuff, but I gotta take off for now. I have to find Scott and Mo. You bet it's amazing. I know a whole lot about dogs. Did you know a dog can make as many as ten different noises? Oh, buddy. Where is that dog? I have to interrupt. Okay, let's see what Listen, this is. Kid, I don't really have time for K9 101. Okay, okay. If you don't like dogs, you should have said so. I didn't. That's what. That's. Never mind. Look, I'll let you know if I run across Buddy. Meanwhile, I have to find Scott and Mo. Wait! I just got an idea. The bazaar gate, of course. Sorry, kid. I, I don't have time for Buddy right now. I'm in a rush. Digging for human bones is pretty creepy to me, but Scott and Mo think it's hilarious. Wait. So Scott and Mo may not have come out here after all. Anywhere else you know that they hang out? If you want them that bad, I guess you could check along the King William the Ninth Road. Scott showed us how to hunt Martins around there. Thanks for the tip. Don't worry. As soon as I find them, Buddy's next. Thanks, mister. I hope so. If you do, maybe Buddy will be your friend too. I don't know why it took me so long. So long to find that little kid. And I just, I, I don't even know true friends. And it looks like it's a night quest. Okay. It's already at 56 minutes, but a, I'm telling you a large chunk of this video was me trying to just find something about this quest. Oh, scared me. Scott? Your mother sent me. Where's your brother? We we played and the dog ran off and Mo! What exactly happened? Which floor? Yeah, which floor is Mo on? Floor is Mo on? Don't even worry about what happened. Uh, second floor or no, third or maybe fourth? I don't know. Please help my brother, mister. I got him. You just got to get to safe. Bizarre. I'll find him. I promise. Did I say get Watch him safe? For the infected, mister. <laughs> yeah, that's a night quest, so... Let me go, yep, right here. Who? what? It's supposed to be night, those guys are supposed to be gone. <laughs> to be fair, I'm doing a lot of damage to him though. Uh. 
I'm messing y'all up. Ooh. I'd hate to be y'all. Okay. Here's the good boy. Are you okay? Here we go. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. He's a small kid. He should not be out here. It's, it's out there. It attacked us. The dog saved us. Poor little dog. And we. You're fine. You're safe. You understand? Hey, look at me. Now your mother sent me. She's looking for you. Okay, come out. It's back. I'm not coming out. Shut the what door. is that? Shut it. Okay, stay here. I'll go check. Don't leave me. You keep that door shut. <laughs> what am I walking into? I got you, little boy. Don't even worry, little homie. Okay. Let's do this. I'm ready. Get back, buddy. Is he dead? Hey, he's dead. I could have sworn he had a lot more health than that. But I'll take it. Okay, let's get back to him. And go ahead and free them. What's that down there? There we go. There we go. Now let's get back to them. Is the good be be the good boy okay? It's over now. You're safe. You sure? You sure it's dead? Yeah, you don't hear it, right? Yeah. Now, what were you two doing here in the first place? Right. We, 
we, we were just walking, and we heard barking, and went in. Yeah, but your brother said you were playing with the dog, and then it ran in there. Yes, that's what I meant. Hmm. You're lying. Look, Mo. I think you're lying. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. We came here because... Because the dog... He, he attacked the thing. Buddy saved us. Uh, otherwise, we, we would have... <laughs> There's nothing we can do for him now. You don't understand. It's our fault. We chased him in here because we were hunting him. Wait, hunting? The dog? Why the hell would you hunt a dog? For mom. For her birthday. We don't have nothing. Not even anything to eat. But we didn't want her to go hungry. Not on her birthday. And when we saw the dog playing with this kid, Dominic, we... Well, got an idea. Put the dog out of his misery. That's what I would do. Bash his head in. If I could, I would shoot it. Don't look, y'all. That's some it's I am now. legend stuff. Get back to your mom. What the? You saw that little flash of the dog in front of the screen for that second? <laughs> man. Man, oh man. That was, that was a mission, huh? What the hell? Oh, I was about to say what? That was a mission, huh? <laughs> Doggo died, unfortunately. But I, I've always said that I'd be one to be able to put an animal out of its misery if, if it was suffering. Like, like, I wouldn't let it sit there and just suffer the whole time. I couldn't. There's no way. I'd rather kill it and let it be at peace. Now's not a good time, Dominic. Please, leave my boys alone. But what if something happened to him? We gotta do something. Scott! Mo! Say something. I'm asking nicely. Please? Look, maybe your uncle can buy you a pet or something. He seems like a man of some means. Now, uh, leave my boys alone. Hey! It's you, mister! You seen Buddy anywhere? Wait, so... You haven't told him anything yet. But he died saving Scott and Mo. Scott and Mo lied to you. Scott and Mo will tell you everything. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Make them tell him. <sighs> Buddy's dead. Scott and Mo can tell you what happened. You, you saw something happened? What happened to Buddy? Tell him, boys. Dominic, I'm sorry. Shut up. Buddy. It's our fault. Shut up, dumbass. They have to admit Be that. Quiet, Scotty. As people. That's how they become better talk. people. Y your fault? How? Wh what are you saying? We we lured Buddy away to hunt him. To to kill him. But it was for our mom. I swear, it's not like we were doing it for fun. But how could... Is that the reason you... Suddenly started playing with me and Buddy? Damn. Was, was that it? Even kids yes. are cold in the world like this. Unless you became friends with him, you knew Buddy wouldn't let you catch him? I'm sorry, Dominic. It's... It's my fault. We have so little and it's all the boys could think to do for my birthday. Please forgive them. They meant you no harm. Just the dog. Just the dog?! Right, don't say that. And you, you all, I hate you, hate you, hate you. But mom, we just wanted to. I know. But what you've done to Dominic, to that poor dog, despite everything. I thought I raised you two better than that. I can't look at you right now. Damn. <laughs> Get out of my face. That's what she said. That's what she was saying. Giving them the chance to take responsibility for what they've done. That's what it's about. You're a good man. 
for a pilgrim. Take care of yourself. Not a problem. You too. That's what it's about, though. That's that's a lesson I had to learn a very hard way as a kid. That sometimes you're gonna have to be open, and there's no other way out. You're going to have to. You're gonna be cornered, and it's gonna be up to you to tell the truth. You know. Alberto, this new armor of yours is flimsy, more fit for a beetle than people. Yeah, way too thin. Felixstein, Peter shows a great protection. This is top craftsmanship, made from the finest quality materials, made, built from. Ah, ah. Uh oh, I can almost see the steam pouring from his ears. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> Titanium. We reinforce the armor with titanium we pulled from the scrapyard. That's why they're lighter. And better protection. You guys shouldn't be such dicks. Well, why didn't he just say so? We'll see. We'll try it out. I mean, the that best way to see is to test it, right? Left. It was nothing, Dad. Nah. As for you, those two oafs took the last titanium vests. No, I'm not here for armor. Sophie sent me. You're supposed to bring me in on some plan? The plan? My plan? Carl agreed? Carl agreed! You hear that, Vincenzo? Not Carl, Sophie. You gonna share or do I have to guess? Windmill. We take down the windmill. Bingo! The big windmill that provides power to the PK. Ooh, I think I know that one. But first, we need the charges that Jack and Joe left at the water tower. Hmm? Would you bring them to us, Pilgrim? I have them. After we blow it up, all the UV lamps in the PK headquarters will go out. That'll allow the infected to attack them. Hmm? Old Villador will be free again. And you, you have a clear route to, uh, uh, you know, uh, the past chemical fallout and to uh, uh, Central City what's it called down the central, loop. central loop. There the we go. Central loop, right? How do you know the PK will withdraw and not retaliate? Because Dad designed this windmill. He knows it like the back of his hand, and it's the PK base's only power source. Wow. We yeah, that's not a guy you'd want on your enemy on side. But we must act fast before the peacekeepers catch wind of our plans so you win yeah okay let's do it yeah i right, fine i mean we'll i have it. the charges on me i okay. grabbed them all so go to the water tower we're going to use the charges that jack and joe tried to blow it up with let me know once you get there i have them on me though we'll finally put our plan into action do i not but i grabbed them I could upgrade that one. Thank you. What other weapons do you have? Huh? Ooh, what? Oh, they only do 36. Golden knuckles. Blunt. 44. Those are some nice ones for 44. I'll go ahead and buy that one. Yeah, why not? Okay. Well, I will go ahead and end it there. Yeah. I know a large portion is going to be edited from this video. Huge portion due to that side quest, but I'm sorry. I'm tired. Uh, I I played what? Uh, earlier in the day, I played and uploaded like three parts. Did I write three parts? I did six, seven, and that. Oh, I, was it just two? Cause I know six and seven are up right now and I already recorded eight right before this one and this one's nine. So yeah, that's how it went. Okay. That's how it went. So I recorded two earlier today and then two here and it'll be ready for me to go ahead and, uh, edit and upload when I'm done. I'll be doing that tomorrow. I won't be focusing on this today. It'll be quick though. I'll go ahead and edit those, upload those, and then go ahead and hit you guys with a couple more parts. Give my ears some rest from these freaking headphones. They hurt too, because they're not the ones that go all the way over your earloaf. 
or your ear loaf ear lobe hold on ear loaf hey never mind i thought i got it ear lobe yeah i'm i'm tired i'm tired your ear lobe and it shows someone piercing gone horribly wrong and it just ripped their oh rip their earlobe earloaf <laughs> it's not the ones that cup over your earlobe it's the ones that sit right on it it's they're small they're not that big headphones they're meant for just like listening to for probably an hour or so if that but they're beats but they're they hurt <laughs> that's probably why they're called beats they beat the hell out of you while you have them on but no, being for real though, tomorrow we'll be able to get into it and it, it's looking like we're hopefully going to start making our way to getting to downtown, making our way here, making our way downtown, trying to walk fast, but I'm, I'm tired. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just, I'm, I'm out. I'm at a commission y'all. But yeah, this is the conclusion of part nine. And I'll be uploading a couple more parts tomorrow. Uh, I may do three. I don't know. I have to see. Don't want to say anything. In I don't want to put anything in stone yet. We'll have to see just when it, uh, tomorrow comes, obviously. But nonetheless, I cannot wait to see what else this has in store. Uh, I'm on part nine, and I'm I'm liking where we're at so far. We're just on part nine, and we're making thorough progress and that's what i wanted i want to make sure this doesn't go way too over like 30 40 parts as i mentioned previously because i just don't want like any of my series that i play to last that long you know i want it to be fairly bite-sized i want it to be nice enough for you to be able to watch enough videos you know but not too long to where it's like oh i gotta watch 30 of these I mean, even though technically if you watch like 10 one hour, two hour videos, it's it could be seen as the equivalent of 30, 20 minute videos, you know, whichever you guys would prefer. But for me right now, since I don't really have an audience to help me make that decision, it's all on me for right now. So I feel I'm gonna stick with that for a little bit. And as I said, I will add little side missions like I did in today's video that took up the majority of it. I want to see how many minutes that took up, probably took up a good, not even lying. 30 minutes not even joking it probably took a good 30 maybe 40 minutes this, this video is probably going to be around the 40 minute mark when it's uh done with all the editing but nonetheless thank you guys for watching thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys are excited for the next part and excited for the future of this channel uh, i've been uploading consistently i'm very proud of myself for that we are on part eight right now or sorry nine right now we'll be getting into part 10 tomorrow one zero we'll be getting into double digits and i'm really proud of the progress i've made i'm staying consistent with this game it's fun i'm genuinely enjoying it i really do want to play it again whenever i pick it up I, I am genuinely happy and excited to get back into it and it's just been such a blast despite you know the little mishaps we've had here and there the little um technical difficulties we had in the seventh video I had a couple in that video an audio error mess up with the game and then the mission not loading those two uh that's when i was trying to find birdie that mission his blood stains weren't showing up it was the marker for his or for the quest was just sitting in one spot not moving so i had to cancel the application i explained all that but Beside those two little mishaps, it's been going fairly great. You know, even when I cut and you guys don't see it and when I play off camera on my own doing side missions, um, which I'm probably going to do tomorrow too. I'll probably end up doing a lot more side missions after I upload a few more videos, depending on where we go. I'll have to see. I'm over here like getting too far in my head of myself. But even when I am playing side missions by myself i don't run into too many issues at all yeah it may look funny sometimes when your character grabs uh, a ledge and goes through it or something or he kind of makes a weird turn sometimes in certain areas 
those little things can be fleshed out over time and they're little small like bite-sized issues that you could kind of get over you know and 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 look over because of how great the game and the story has been already ah nonetheless love you guys thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as i am and i'll see you all for part 10 tomorrow and 11 and maybe 12 all right bye bye